Hello, high school and junior high kids at Piqua. Um, I am recording some practice sessions for you to play along with. And so we're gonna focus on um, the woodwind instruments in this video. And we're gonna do just a little bit of a long tone exercise first to start that you're all used to doing. And then we're gonna jump into scales and some register slash octave slurs. And I'm going to explain them. I'm gonna demonstrate them on the flute a little bit and then I'm gonna let you run loose with them. These are all great things that you should be practicing every time you get your instrument out. Um, these are what make you a better player and especially a woodwind player because these are what it takes to play all the fast runs and the 16th note slurs um, and the octave jumps that we're gonna practice here in a second as well. So first thing I'd like to do is just play concert F. I have a metronome running at 90 beats a minute. You can just play right along with me. I'm gonna count it off and I'm gonna play on the piano the notes that you should be hearing. So, concert F, eight counts to start. One, two, ready, and. Seven, eight, nine, 8, 3. Good. Now, you can do more of those. You can do some half steps if you know what I'm talking about with those. The point of this is just to kind of get the air flowing. That's all we want with this. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to start on our scales. Now, on the screen, I'm going to show you um, my matrix that I've created that has all of the instruments listed in their key and then the notes that you should be playing. So if you're a C instrument, you're a flute. If you're a B flat instrument, you're a clarinet of any type or a tenor saxophone. And if you're an E flat instrument, you are a alto saxophone or berry saxophone. So we're gonna start in the key of concert B flat. We're gonna play all of these on half notes, then quarter notes, then eighth notes, okay? So let's start with half notes. And half note, concert B flat, go. are connected. We're not playing the higher notes louder. We're just playing them the same dynamic level. Let's do a quarter notes. One, two, ready, go. Good. Now we're going to do that same thing again, all tongued. If you were slurring before, you're going to make sure they're all tongued this time. One, two, ready, go. to eighth note. So we're going to play quarter note, eighth note pattern like this. Just like that. Now it's your turn to play with me. One, two, ready, go. Very nice. Now, what we can do now is speed up the tempo a little bit. And if you want to play at a faster tempo, the same thing, go for it. If not, skip ahead until we see the next key signature. So we're going to jump, jump the tempo up to 110 beats a minute. We're going to go. Those of you that were in marching band know that this is super important as we have fast fingers to play all those fast runs. So we'll start training those fingers now. And one, two, your turn and go. Let's do that again, all slurred, and one, two, ready, go. Very good. Now, let's jump a little bit faster. We'll just do three tempos today. This is 130, same pattern. Ready, and one, two, and one, two, here you go. Stop. 
Now all tongues. If you were slurring before, hopefully. Now tongue it. One, two, ready, go. And stop. So we will go back to our tempo of 80. And what we're going to do is jump to our next key, which is key of E flat. So we're going to play half notes. This adds a flat for everyone or takes away a sharp. So half notes. One, two, ready, go. to our quarter notes. One, two, ready, go. Let's do that again. This time make sure we're tonguing every single note on the way up and the way down. One, two, ready, go. quarter note eighth note pattern. Two, your turn, go. Same thing, all slurred. One, two, ready, go. Faster tempo, here we go. One, two, and one, two, ready, go. If you slurred it, tongue it. If you tongued it, slurred it. Switch it, and one, two, ready, go. Stop, new faster tempo. Now remember, these tempos are all relative. If you're struggling with one, go back and do it as many times as you need. Stop it, put your own metronome on, and work it out. That's the most important part, is practice making sure that you can do, you're setting yourself up for success. If you're not setting yourself up for success, you're actually doing more harm than good. Here we go. Quarter note, eighth note pattern. Fastest tempo we got. And one, two, ready, go. One more time, one, two, ready, go. And stop. Very good. Now, let's go on to our next key, which is going to be the key of F, okay? We're gonna go up um, a whole step to F, but really in our key signatures, we're going back two key signatures around the circle. And we have now one flat for C instruments and so on for the rest. Take that tempo back to 80. And here we go. F concert, half notes. One, two, ready, go. now. One, two, ready, go. Quarter note, eighth note pattern. Ready, go. tempo and a one two and a one two ready go two ready and new fast 
faster tempo. One, two, and one, two, ready, go. Now, let's go to a new key. Okay, this will be our last key for today. If you want to go through more keys and exercises, I will attach the, a link to the PowerPoint in the description of this YouTube video, and you can go through that on your own. Um, if you are an eighth grader or a high school student, I recommend that you do at least a couple more of these. It's really just gonna help you in the long run. It's not going to hurt you, I promise that. So, back to our original tempo. Last key is A flat. A flat has the most flats we've seen so far. We're jumping all over the place. And it's also gonna take it lower for most of us in our um, instrument range. One, two, A flat, half notes go. Ready? Two. Here you go. Now let's do the quarter note eighth note pattern. One, two, ready, go. Speed that pattern up. Uh, one, two, and one, two, ready, and. Go faster again, and one, two. Reminder, if this is not working out for you and you are struggling with it, pause the video and do it again, or back up the video and do it again until you get it right. One, Two, last tempo two, here you go. Now, we're gonna go away from our scales. Remember, if you are an eighth grader or a high school student, you should move forward with a couple more. Um, and if you are still struggling with some of those, make sure you slow it down, go back in the video to the first time we did it and play it through at that slower tempo a couple more times. So, as we transition, I'm gonna have my flute and we're gonna play some stuff. Now remember, flute is not my primary instrument. I am a trombone player, so I might make some mistakes and that's okay, we're all trying to get better, but I will say I feel most confident with the flute out of all of the woodwinds. So we are going to do some octave slash register drills. And each of these is built the same for the instruments, but the notes that you're playing are different based on your instrument. Um, with the flute, we're gonna start on B flat, our one and one B flat, and go down until we get to D. Um, then you can also go from B flat, you can go up C, D, E flat, F, G, up there, and do the upper octave as well. Um, clarinets, you can start on low F, then go up all the way till um, E. You could also start on E and wake your way down. Um, and then for those of you that are in high school, you could go on past that and do some other octave um, drills as long as they're using the register key. Because yours is not an octave, it's just a register. It's gonna pop up a different interval. Um, saxophones, you're gonna start on B, work your way down. The lower you get, the harder it is to control that bottom note, but the easier it is to actually get up to the next um, register. So you're gonna just push on that octave key as well. This is whole notes to start. Counts in between, five, six, repeat it. Okay, and then you're gonna put those eight counts in between and you're gonna go to half notes. Now the goal is to not tongue in between. Half notes. Eight counts in between. Now we're gonna go to 
quarter notes. This is the toughest one. Oh, one, two, make it smooth, and. Eight counts between once again. Five, six, seven. Good. And so you get the idea on the instrument. Now, everyone should hopefully be listening to that example. And then I'm gonna play two examples for each instrument now. Um, starting with the flutes, we're gonna start on our A um, and go down to G and do A and G with a metronome and a pitch reference. Then I'll go to clarinets and then I'll go to saxophones. So you can also check out um, in the link where to jump forward to for flutes and saxophone or clarinets and saxophones that we don't have to watch all the flutes and clarinets. If you're a saxophone, you can kind of jump forward in this warm up process. So here we go, flutes. Metronome is on. We're going to do whole notes first, starting on A. One, two, A, go. A. Good. Eight counts in between. Make sure that we really have a nice, consistent airstream. Ready and go. Stop. Now we're going to go to half notes. One, two, ready, go. And one, two, ready, and. Now we're moving forward to quarter notes. Now, if you're struggling with this, stay at half notes. Do that again. And quarter notes, two, ready, go. One, two, same thing, two, and ready, go. Very nice. Flutes, we're gonna go to G now. Whole notes, one, two, whole notes go. Eight counts in between, make them smooth, use that air speed to make the note change. Ready, two, here you go. Stop. Now half notes, one, two, and half notes, ready, go. One, two, same thing, make it quick transition, ready, go. Now quarter notes, make sure you're really using your air. One, two, ready, go. One, two, same thing. One, two, ready, go. Good. Now, that is it for you flutes with me, but I want you to keep playing more of those. Go down to F, go down to E. Then you can go back up to B flat or C or D or E flat and get into the really high octave register. It's the same thing, it just takes more control and more energy through the um, aperture of our lips to get up to those high notes. All right, onto our clarinets. Now clarinets, you're not gonna jump an octave. Instead of jumping an octave, you are actually gonna jump an octave and a fifth. So you're going from, if we start on a low F down here, and we're gonna jump up to your C over the break. And all you're doing is putting your register, th your thumb on that register key. Okay, so you're jumping from here to here. Okay, and the goal for you is to make sure that all your fingers are staying in the right spot and they're all covering the holes completely because if you're, they're not, you're gonna really struggle to get up to that top note. Here we go, let's put on that metronome. And we're gonna start with a whole note. Then switch to the up note. With eight counts between. And uh, ready, two, here you go. Now C. Off. Do that again. And one, two, ready, go. Stop. Good. Now let's go on to half notes. One, two, make it faster, go. One, 
two, and same thing, two, and ready, go. Now our quarter notes. Now you have to really make sure everything stay in place and you're letting all of your embouchure nice and stay firm, but relaxed in order to switch between the two notes. And one, two, ready, go. That again. One, two, ready, go. Now let's switch it up to a new note. We're going to go back to the whole note, but now we're going to play low G. We're going to play high D. Whole notes, two, ready, go. Three, and up. And one, two, eight counts between. One, two, Ready, go. Stop. Now let's put half notes. And one, two, ready, go. Okay, do that same thing again. Make it easy switch. Make sure everything's covered and you're really making the embouchure aperture work. And one, two, ready, go. Quarter notes and a one, two quarter notes. One, two, make it smooth. Don't make there be breaks in our sounds. Ready? Two, here we go. Very good. All right. Now, clarinets, that's all we're going to do, but like I said, keep moving up our notes, our fingers. So we now have one, three, one, three. Move up, 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 until you can't use your register key anymore. And that's going to help build our range and our flexibility on our instrument. So keep working on that. On to our saxophone. Saxophone, you're going to start on high B, or sorry, B for you, and then move up to high B. Um, and doing so... We're starting on D concert and going up an octave to high D concert. Okay? When we do this, make sure everything's relaxed and we're keeping our jaw nice and in place. And we're just letting our jaw twist and rotate just a little bit as we switch this with our thumb engaging the octave key. So here we go. B to B. One, two, hold notes, go. Good. Now we're just going up, so this part's easy, but make sure we understand how it works. Ready, go. Stop. All right, now we're going to go to half notes. We're making it go back down. We have to make sure we're relaxing to get back to our B. We don't want to hear this top note over and over again as we play. One, two, ready, go. One, two, same thing. One, two, ready, go. Good. Now let's move on to quarter notes. One, two, quarter notes, and go. One, two, make them smooth and connected. One, and two, and ready, go. Good. All right, let's move down to A concert. Okay, sorry, not A concert, your A, which is C. Here we go. One, two, and one, two, ready, go. Two, three, four. Space in between should not be there. So make sure we're making everything smooth and connected. One, two, ready, go. One, two half notes now. One and two and ready, go. One, two, same thing and go. One, two quarter notes. One, two, same thing, go.
Now, like I said, the other instruments keep going through this. Make sure we do not just stop there. You want to continue to go down our fingers all the way down to low D um, and get that octave transition happening as well. So, and as a recap, woodwinds, we should be doing our octave slash register drills whenever we can. We should be playing lots of scales, moving our fast fingers, but make sure you always play with a metronome and have a purpose when you practice, okay? Um, little throw out there for you. If anyone here is interested in private lessons, um, one of my band director friends is giving private lessons. He is a saxophone player, so um, it would benefit all of our saxophone students to take lessons from him. He is charging $5 per half hour of the lesson, um, and that is a great rate for lessons. He's doing them all through Zoom, um, and you should totally take advantage of that. So until next time, until next warm-up, keep practicing, um, and... Enjoy music. <laughs>